Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to European Results 4. I don't know why I took a weird pause there. I got distracted. I was noticing that uh, the Dutch are colonizing um, Australia. That's an interesting outcome. Looking at the provinces here, Australia is not particularly any good. Uh, I mean, it's a great place in reality or in modern times, but. Not a fantastic place to colonize, apparently. Is there any actual good provinces over here? Remember there were a couple decent ones somewhere, yeah. A couple decent ones here in the, the Philippines. Oh, there's the Dutch again. What did you get, by the way, here? Fish, interesting. Anyway, let's keep focusing on, um, on our game plan here. So let's just, just get right back in on it and some pause. We made some friends. That's good. The these guys no longer want to be friendly with me. Because they're neutral. They weren't neutral. They still wouldn't want to be friendly with me. Damn, we were so close. I missed my opportunity. Missed my opportunity to form an alliance with the uh, with the the Danish. You at war with anybody? Colombia and Colombia and Louisiana. That's that's not a, a thing. Yeah, getting at war with those guys would have been great. Protectorate of Spain. I didn't know Benin was a protectorate of Spain. So if I declared war, Spain, Ferrara, Portugal, and Australia would come in the own war against me. So that's no good. These guys are allied with the Mamluks and Baluchistan, so that's a problem. And I don't think I can declare war on you. I'm not I'm not doing that, but can I do I have the ability to even fabricate a claim? No, because I have no neighboring provinces. I'd have to colonize this this crappy piece of land here. It's a thing. Alright. Well, we're definitely going to get this because we have the opportunity to do so. We'll get another idea group soon. Can't be uh, administrative. Oh, I was going to say on the last episode, I totally forgot. You know, one thing I should really consider getting is uh, admin ideas, mainly because I could get this core cost reduction, um, which would really save us out over time. But new Mutapa? No, this is going to be uh, Mutapin North America. So we got Mutapa South America and Mutapa North America. I'm going to send these guys over here because I want to get this firewall against the Spanish. Damn. There's no good uh, military advisors available. Well, let's just say no cheap military advisors available. So you'll arrive in a year. Okay. Tobacco is going to be produced here. Are you guys colonizing at all, by the way? It's interesting that you guys haven't declared war on Tunja here. Like, if I declared war on Tunja, just out of curiosity, don't have a. I have the show superiority CB. I could get some land for these guys. I think I'm gonna do it. As soon as we get this colony started. Shit, I'm just gonna kill those guys off now. Even with no, uh... <laughs> no, whatchamacallit, maintenance. Maybe it was a mistake, but okay. Oh, nice. Alright, cool. Man, I'm real happy. I'm in a real good mood. What's my naval force limit at? God, I could get another 40 ships. Might might do that in the near future here. In fact, I might just do that right now. Let's get a another 10 at least. Maybe send them to, I don't know, where I should be doing other trade things. Making some decent money at the Cape though, so maybe I should send them to the Cape? 
might be a good idea. I do want to invest in this cavalry combat ability. It also gives me a national manpower bonus. Um, I think that's worthwhile. And then the next thing I will do is uh, get another military idea. Get up to military idea 20. Can't stop me now, bitches. God, so much fun. But yeah, I will need to colonize here, which will happen after um, Pamlico is colonized. Come on. Where's that navy? They arrived yet? Nope, they're just dying in the middle of the ocean. Like idiots. Let's hope they don't die. Let's, let's actually hope they don't die. And then I think it will be a good time to build a few more troops, actually, to get this force up a little stronger. Um, oh, so we no longer have the colonialism CB against these guys because Florida has been established as a country. But yeah, I'm going to train some more troops. This is 9,000 men. We're going to get it to a little bit more. So let's do uh, one, two, three, four, five cavalry. One gold a month for artillery? That's real expensive. I feel like that's a lot more expensive than it normally is. Well, whatever. Um. One, two, three, four, five of those guys. So that's ten dudes that I just built. Actually, we're going to do one less artillery, one less cavalry, or infantry, and two more cavalry. Cool. We'll see how that goes. Did you guys ever make it? What happened to those boats? Did they sink? No, they're fine. I'm going to conquer this land for African New World. And then this is a Mutop in North America. Colonial CB against Spain. Once again, awesome. But we got this, this land in here. God damn it. No! No! My air is good. I hate you, game. That's so sucky. I'm so unhappy. First, I want to boost this stability. Secondly, my air was so good. And this guy's old. You fucking kidding me? He was good. He was so good. I'm so sad now. He was good. Good, I tell you. Anyway. Well, he's dead now, so... It's a thing. Let's just just realize it's a thing. He died. Can no longer cry over spilled milk. I feel like this wasn't an independent lands before, but it probably was, and I was probably just uh, smoking the weed. Wow, you guys are all protectorates of somebody? It's ridiculous. Everybody's got a protectorate. Come on. Come on. Gotta raise up the army maintenance before I go to war. Let's not forget about that. Inflation's too high. Want to solve that problem as well. Be nice if it told me the total unit count. Like, can see K2. What are you thinking of me right now, Denmark? You're neutral. You're not friendly anymore. You were so nice when you were friendly. Oh, Austria's kicking somebody's butt. Good for you, Austria, because you're kind of scary huge. Oh, they took Albania, too. Yeah, you're kind of scary huge, Austria. Anyway, so there's 19,000 men. It's an 838. That's fine. Got 14,000 men here. Should be more than enough to conquer these guys. Show superiority. Declare war. In we go. Um, let me make sure you have a leader. Oh, 
Oh, my, uh, my factions followed suit. Come on. You guys gonna get here anytime soon? There we go. Oh, they got 10,000 men over here. 10,000 really bad men. Let's go back up to speed four. No, get, get over here. I probably should have turned on, uh, whatever that shit's called, uh, fast walking. <laughs> Force march. That's the word I'm looking for. Force march. Can I get an air, please? Can you please, uh, mate and have children? So this should go quickly. Get all their land, give it to our good people. Florida is up here. Pequot. Oh, our royal marriage with Mamluks ended. Mamluks. Um, we want dynastic actions, royal marriage. Beautiful. Let's get that going. So cool when you guys were friendly. These guys are friendly, but are somehow in a personal union under Denmark. Very interesting. However, that went down. I need to save my money, my uh, Diplo points for just a little bit. This war should not take very long. I don't think I need to transfer Vassalage. This land should all immediately transfer to these guys anyway. Oh, you guys have 10,000 men? Oh, I guess it's because these, these territories are much better than these territories. Siege of Tunja is over. New era, 424, not nearly as good as my 646 or whatever it was before, but still. Oh, God, how long have you guys been sitting here? Um, go help out in the Cape of Good Hope. We'll see if that increases my, uh, my money intake here from 33.3. See, it did a little bit. A little bit. Every little bit helps. Come on. Let's end this war. Call it a day. Transferring trade power to France. If I declared war, no one would come in. It's because they're involved in a war, I'm guessing. Nice. Go to Pamlico. Pamlico became self-sustaining, and as much as I would like to expand Pamlico there, like I said, I really do need to colonize here. So let's send this guy to colonize. Decline. I want trade efficiency, or do I just want a buttload of money? Let's take the, the points, actually, rather than the buttload of money. I'd love the buttload of money, but I want the points, too. Points are good. Okay, good. Now, the real question is... Fully annexing you would give me... Basically no problems, but it does make me suffer... The aggressive expansion. Give me 10.5 prestige. Cost me zero diplo points. Alright, let's do it. Now, it's this land, yeah, like I thought, immediately goes to these guys. They will take care of it for me. Beautiful. That's nice and growing. Alright. Um. So, actually, I could have gotten this, and I will. I'll probably have to take a dip, some sort of Diplo idea next. Um, maybe trade ideas, get some more merchants out there. Yeah, I think the ones... I think that's what will happen. Alright, cool. Well, let's um, lose global tariffs rather than gain inflation because inflation is a problem already. I'll have to reduce it soon, but let's uh, lose, let's lower our army maintenance and make some money.
I'd also like to, while I can, build some more ships. Boom, more ships. God, we're going real good. Where are we in in terms of uh, world power here? We are right behind France. Why did I take establish a colony in Manila? I don't want to establish a colony in Manila. I don't want to have Manilan capabilities at all. Um, Austrians have no manpower. That's real bad. How is Denmark and Russia... How's Russia in a personal union under Denmark? How did I... Oh, they like us again. Get the alliance while, while we can. Boom. So good. Can't get a royal marriage because because of uh, Protestant faith does not allow royal marriages, but that's okay. This is real good because now we're basically in an alliance with Russia, Denmark. Now, I believe Norway is in a personal union. No, Norway is independent, but they are allied with Denmark and France. Norway, Sweden, and the Netherlands. All right, so let's just check you out here. If I declared war on these guys. They would not come because they do like France, apparently. Good to know. Corsica somehow became independent. Cool. Now, new question. If I went to war against Great Britain, what would happen? Everybody would come in. Except for Austria. Who is fighting in another war, has good attitude towards them, has high war exhaustion. But that's okay. We'll consider going to war with Great Britain over um, Gabon here. Gabon? Gabon? I never really knew how to pronounce that. Oh, please come in here and take care of this before natives uprise. We also need to raise the army maintenance so that you don't totally suck. Now, once you're at full, we will strike with a vengeance. Can I already start fabricating that claim? Covert actions. Fabricate claim. No, because I don't have a province that borders them. Okay. We'll just crush these guys real quick. That's good. Is there anybody left? Nope. Awesome. Um, I am going to lower my army maintenance again, but I want to come into here. Um, bye bye, Diplotech. It was nice when you were cheap. Now you are expensive. Okay, so you are part of... Oh, fuck. I thought you were part of Defer, but apparently instead you're part of Megri... These guys. So I'm assuming if I declared war, the Mamluks would come to their defense. We need the Mamluks... We need to be in another war. Are you kidding me? Bye-bye, 528. I mean, I'm not losing 528 goddamn ducats. So, bye-bye, uh... Stability. Welcome back, Stability. No mission. Protect against France. What would I get? Five army tradition. Insult. Oh, yeah. That's easy. Diplomacy. Send insult. Forget. I totally forget about our rivals and sending insults to our rivals. Who are my rivals? Timurids. Send insult. This doesn't increase it again, actually, if you insult two rivals, if I remember correctly. But I should embargo these guys. Nope, you can never have too much grain. Okay, that's fine. Alright, now what was my next mission here? There's something about uh, make... I didn't core Old de Bourbon out here. Apparently I did not. Of course I will make that a core. I didn't even realize I didn't core that. Oh, you need to get join um, Cape of Good Hope fleet. See if that increases 3.66 to anything useful. You're pretty happy with me, which is pretty impressive. So basically, we just need to get into another war with the Mamluks, and then we can go to war with Medribari here. Diplomacy. Let us a covert act, though. 
fabricate a claim on actually I should find out what's good three two one 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 two four oh, there's a four but I don't think I'll be able to claim Gondor so of all these provinces I think I will fabricate a claim on on uh, Ankober Anko here sounds like a news agent Ankober Alright, and then we will end the episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. On the next episode, I don't know what we're going to do yet. It's going to be good, though. I want to push into here, but that's going to be difficult for a little bit. So with that all being said, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.